We'll guide you through how to blur the background of a photo on your iPhone. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Having a blurred background in a photo can go and make it look much more professional and make it look like it was taken on an insanely professional camera. So let me go and show you how you can go and achieve this. First of all, I'll be showing you how you can do it while taking the photo. So this is before you've taken the photo essentially. And then also if you've already got the photo, which you want to go and blur the background of. So first of all, if you're yet to take the photo, go and open up the camera app just like so. Then all you need to do is come to the bottom and what you can do is go and select portrait like so. So this is a mode on the iPhone which makes photos look way more professional um, and you can go and adjust the lighting and it will go and blur the background much more. As you can see at the bottom, you can go and choose the light. So I'll go and choose a natural light like so. You can also go and adjust the zoom a bit as well. So then what I'm going to do is just go and adjust it. it, may tell you to move further at the top, and then you can go and take the photo. And as you can see, the background is much more blurred than if I just went and took a regular photo, which is super cool. So that's how you can do it before you've taken the photo. However, you may have already got one you want to go and blur. So if that's the case, you are going to need an app. So the app I like to use is called this one here, Blur Photo Effect Background. So go and search for it and go and find it. It's a pretty popular app and you want to go and open it up. Then come to the bottom and you want to go and click on blur. And what you can do is select the photo you want to do this with. With it selected, you can go and crop it if you want and press done in the top right. Then what you can do is go and select blur in the bottom bar and then click on auto select. And then it should auto select the background and go and blur it. As you can see, we can then go and click on next in the top right. And then we can go and save it by clicking the share button in the top right and it's now saved. And just to show you the comparison, as you can see, this is before and this is after. 